Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to take a look at band stacking registers, which is a feature that is common in today's HF radios, but actually appeared only maybe 10 years ago. And uh, it is available because of the kind of computerized nature of the way the, the radios are uh, today. Now, you know that your radio has a VFO. It's got a great big knob on the front. You turn it and you get different frequencies. And then you've got different mechanisms on different radios for switching between bands. And uh, a lot of the radios today have what's called a band stacking register. I'm going to illustrate with these 3x5 cards here. Okay, so the last frequency that you were on, on uh, 40 meters, was uh, 7037 megahertz and the mode was CW. So if you go to 40 meters, that's what you're going to get. Now, if you push the 40 meter button again, it's got a different frequency, 7.202.8, and it's lower sideband. Well, now, isn't that interesting? Now, let's suppose you push the 40 meter button again, and you get 7076 USB digital for FT8. Okay, and then you push it again, and up, you're back around where you started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works on the... Uh, ICOM 7300 and it works very similarly on lots and lots of radios. Now what's handy about this is that the mode is already set and, and off times with it the filter size and everything like that. So you can just go to, if you want to do sideband, you can pick that one. If you want to do CW, you can pick that one. Now I note that uh, if you set up uh, something like FL Digi and so on, it's going to take whichever one of these is active and turn it into digital. So it's sometimes best to work your way to that band stacking register that's already digital so that it stays digital there and your, your stuff that you've got in the other two band stacking registers uh, stay the same. So let's look at how we do this on the ICOM 7300. Okay, please forgive the parallax here. Um, we've got this thing pointed directly at the screen. This is the screen for the uh, 7300, the ICOM 7300, which is the reference rig. Now we know that we can change bands by pressing the megahertz number, so I'm going to press that. And it gives us all the bands that we can go to. Note that this is called a band stacking register. Okay. And if I want to change to 14 megahertz, there I am on 14 megahertz. But let's go back to 7. Okay, this takes me back to where I was. A lot of activity, it looks like, on, uh, on uh, 40 meters right now. Now, if I go here, and I go to 7 again... Now I'm on a different frequency, and you can see CW going by right there. Okay, and let's just uh, uh, press that again. And 7 again, and now I'm on the uh, frequency over here for FT8. Now there's another way you can do it. Uh, if you go to the band stacking register, if you hold the button in, for a second or more it'll change to the next frequency we'll do it again oops okay now note that the mode changes with it so the mode and frequency are stored in the band stacking register and in any band you can have up to, well, three. You have three. And every time you go through them, you've got these bands with frequencies stacked up. Each one is stacked with three. Now, note down here at the bottom, there's a, a G-E-N-E. -E. This is for uh, your general coverage receiver. Okay, the scope isn't set up for this, but 
this is uh, that shortwave frequency I was showing yesterday. Let's go back in here and now let's just hold that for a second. 15200 and uh, 50, 500 uh, kilohertz right there. Okay. Now, what I would suggest you do is that you go into the general band, general coverage band, gene, <laughs> and that's where you can store your favorite shortwave frequencies in the three band stacking registers. Now, remember that each band stacking register is a, a separate VFO. This is not talking at all about the memories that are available on the radio. Uh, there are lots of memories, and if you have lots of shortwave stations you want to listen to, you can put each in a memory and uh, go with memories. But right here I'm talking about the VFOs. In other words, each band has in essence... Here's a VFO right there. Okay, and we'll go press one second, and uh, we'll go there. And got a VFO there, okay. Do you see uh, what's going on? We've got these band stacking registers, and it's very useful to be able to put the mode in with the frequency, and you can just flip through them by touching the megahertz, holding for a second, and picking the one you want. When you get to the one you want, you can just push the return. Now you can input a frequency directly from here, just like we showed yesterday, um, or use the band stacking registers. Okay, so there you go. You've got a very simple introduction to band stacking registers. I thought it was a nice little feature to put out for today's video, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. And until we next meet, 73.